My name is Phoebe. I'm going to show you today how you can use the audit file and retrieve the result ID from within the audit file to check the matches that are against the name that you've searched in the application. So I'm going to explain briefly the two kinds of results you'll get. You'll get first a pass, which doesn't produce a result ID, and you'll get a refer, which looks about something like this. And that just means you have multiple individuals that are within the application that have a match against them. So let's go ahead and try and copy one result ID, or we can call them alert ID in this instance. They're both the same. Paste it in here. So you have to go to search alerts by alert ID. And then from there, you just have to refine your query and input your alert ID there. Save that. And it will basically kick you out. So you have to navigate back. And there you go. So that's the person that we searched for. Now let's try a different one. Ending 9331. Now, if you try this one, you just have to go back to your search. Again, refine query, same as before. Paste that in there and save that. So if we go back to your search alert by alert ID, you'll get that John Smith and let's compare. So this one ends 9331, same as the one we've checked. And that's how you search for a match. And if you want to find out why they have match, you can just view here. So you can see he's a match because he's on a sanctions list. And that's one match found.